Welcome back. Hope is growing dim for a swift end to the war in Gaza. President Biden is calling attention to the urgent need to reach a ceasefire and hostage deal. Jared Hill has the latest. In Gaza City, people running for cover as the Israeli military struck a school and nearby home Wednesday, killing at least three people. At least 15 others injured, according to Gaza's civil emergency service. Further south, near Khan Yunus, more than 100,000 people once again being pushed out. People are afraid they're being displaced for the second, third, fourth, up to ten times, uh, looking for somewhere safe. There's no way safe in Gaza. Wednesday, the White House says President Biden and Vice President Harris spoke to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu about the urgency of bringing the ceasefire and hostage deal to a close. But hope appears to be dwindling. Key mediator Egypt says Hamas is wary of whether Israel will actually remove its troops from Gaza after the first phase of the proposal goes into effect, requiring Hamas to release the most vulnerable civilian hostages. At the Democratic National Convention, the parents of one of those hostages, 23-year-old Hirsch Goldberg Poland, pled for an end to the war. Needing our only son and all of the cherished hostages home is not a political issue. Outside, hundreds of pro-Palestinian protesters marched with a message for Democrats. Tell the DNC, not in our name, not with our tax dollars, not with U.S.-made weapons. Hoping to use their political muscle to bring about peace. Jared Hill, CBS News.